Okay, today we released a new update for GitHub Copilot for Azure. And in this new update, we are providing more contextual awareness um, to help the user out. So let me talk to you about the setup we have here and then we'll talk about some of the new features. So what we have here on the left side, this is VS Code Stable. It's running the previous version of GitHub Copilot for Azure or at Azure. On the right side, we have VS Code Insiders, and it's running the latest version of GitHub Copilot for Azure. The update for, the, for our extension works fine inside of VS Code Stable. I just want to be able to show the difference here in how these work. So first thing I want to do is I want to talk about the installed extension context. So we now have the ability or we are we are collecting information about which extensions are installed and passing that on to copilot when the user chats with at azure so to see how that works we're going to run this prompt how can i view my storage accounts in vs code here we go you can see it tells me to install this extension sign into azure view my accounts Let's do that with the new extension now. Let's run. I can open VS Code, open the Azure Storage extension, sign into Azure. You can see the big difference here is it's getting context about the fact that the extension's already installed. Um, it's available in both of these. So I can open the extent, sorry, open Azure, and you can see that I have storage extension installed here storage extension installed in both of them great now let's try the next one so i'm going to come in here i'm going to select a particular storage account in both of these you can see it's selected i'm going to start a new chat in both of these and then i'm going to give it this prompt i'm going to say for my storage account Give me a CLI command that lists the containers. Same thing in both places. I'm gonna run this prompt. And here it's saying, please provide the name of the storage account. It doesn't have any context. Over here, it knows that I have selected Flask store, blah, blah, blah. And it is giving me a command that includes that. So. That's a step that the user doesn't have to do. As long as I've selected it here, it's coming into context over here in chat. Super, super handy, makes things a lot easier. Well, let's try one more. So another one that we have is the ability to look up some of the IAC information. Oh, okay, great. So what we'll see I have here, I don't have anything selected. There's no files uh, appearing in context down here. And I wanna do this in a new chat so we're not including anything from the previous chats. And I have the same repo open in both of these. Both of them are using Bicep as opposed to Terraform or ARM. When I ask this question in the old version of the extension, it's gonna tell me, hey, I need to know what IAC tool you're using. Bicep, Terraform, could be ARM. We get different responses each time. But if I ask that in the new one, you're gonna see that we have a plugin now that's gonna go and determine what existing infrastructure as code tech I'm using inside this repo. So give it just a second, that's gonna run and we're gonna say, hey, look, we're using Bicep in here. So right away it comes back and gives me a Bicep example as opposed to Terraform or something else. So as you can see, these improvements around context help make sure that the developer gets answers more quickly without having to answer some of the additional questions. Um, these are some simple examples. This will keep improving over time. We want to make this as easy as possible for developers working with Azure to get the answers they need. And one of the ways we can do that is including all of this relevant context for them. 
We're continuing to make updates to GitHub Copilot for Azure all the time, and we'll be adding more context into those future updates. If you want to learn more, use the link on the screen to download the extension and try it yourself. Thank you.